lot of times the guests on our show are actors, here to talk about a new TV show or movie they're in. But every actor, no matter how successful they are, now every one of them has had terrible auditions. So we asked a few of our guests to open up about the audition process. Take a look. Auditions. Ugh, auditions. I've got a few stories. Yeah, auditions. They're never great. Well, for starters, bring the right script. <laughs> I've made that mistake. Oh, God, I used to get so nervous before auditions. I felt like I was going to crap my pants. Eventually, I just started crapping my pants at home, so I didn't have to worry about it at the auditions. I like to show up covered in dust so that later, when they're looking at the tapes, they'll remember I was the dusty guy. So there's an unspoken rule in auditions that you're not supposed to bring any props. You know, I, I didn't get the memo. Uh, I brought a handgun. I brought a shoebox full of bees. I brought a full lasagna and made them watch as I ate the whole thing. Such a rookie move. Okay, well, one time I went to this casting call and there were like, a thousand people in the waiting area and they made everyone take a number. Um, but I asked this girl who was sitting next to me, you know, what parts she was auditioning for and she said, audition? I'm here for my learner's permit. And I was like, oh, <laughs> these people are in the wrong place. <laughs> Sometimes at an audition they'll make you do a chemistry test where they have you read lines with another actor to see if you're uh, like a believable couple. Uh, well, one time I had to do um, a chemistry test with my real-life husband. It, it didn't go so good. They made us get divorced. I didn't know what they meant by a chemistry test, so I made a volcano. It was baking soda everywhere. I didn't get that part. But I did get a B-plus on the volcano. It was a commercial for this pet shop that only had snakes. I still remember the slogan, like a good neighbor, snake farm is there. Jesus jeans. Blessed are the jeans, for they shall inherit dead ass. It was a commercial for people named Maureen. The few, the proud, the Maureens. Well, they asked me to say my name at the beginning, and I just, for some reason, panicked, and I told them my name was Oscar Beanbody. I, I kept forgetting the lines, and then halfway through the audition, my cell phone rings. One time, my cell phone went off in an audition, and I got so nervous. I ate it. <laughs> oh, I've definitely eaten the cell phone. Uh, one time, I ate the cell phone, and I still got the part. So it just shows you, you never know what they're looking for. Oop, um, sorry, I've got to take this. Hello? Yes, this is Professor Beanbody. At the end of an audition, it's really important to play it cool. I remember after one audition, they flat out offered me the part in the room. I said no. Never show them you're too eager. <laughs> 